Welcome to the first audio track of Christian Meditation. These audio tracks are being developed to help in your spiritual growth. These series of meditations will have your mind focused in on the Word of God to absorb the Word of God and let it be part of your inner being to help one focus, relax, and also tap into the Holy Spirit that is dwelling inside of each and every one of us. As it says in 1 John, the third chapter, verse 24, He that keepeth his commandments dwell in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abides in us by the Spirit which he has given us. And of course, that happens after baptism, when the minister lays his hands on you, and you receive the Holy Spirit, and God's law is written on our hearts. And of course, the Apostle Paul said that the law is spiritual. It is part of our inner spiritual being that his spirit bears witness with our spirit, and we are the children of God, and we are to grow spiritually, to grow in grace and knowledge, and to feed the Holy Spirit and not quench the Holy Spirit. Now, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, ask Almighty God for the Holy Spirit to come upon you. Now, it's perfectly natural if you become overwhelmed with the Spirit during these meditations. Because our God is a living God, and Jesus Christ says that his words are spirit and life. So if you are overwhelmed with the Spirit of Almighty God, it's absolutely normal to experience such a sensation. Now, during this meditation, we will also be playing relaxing music in the background. As it says here by C.S. Lewis Institute, in the Old Testament, two Hebrew words are translated meditate. One suggests a low pitch muttering sound. The other means to be taken up or absorbed with something. Of course, the Hebrew word is hagion, and in Psalm 92, verse 3, it is rendered a solemn sound. So we are going to play relaxing music, not music that you hear from the Buddhist meditations, nothing like that, or the Gregorian meditations, but the same music David played for King Saul to ease his anxiety, relaxing music in the background. Now, first we will begin to... Sit in a position the way David did, as it says in Second Samuel, the seventh chapter, verse 18, that David sat before the Lord. And what this means is, as the Jameson, Fawcett, and Brown commentary says, sitting was anciently an attitude for worship. As to the particular attitude David sat, most probably upon his heels, this is a posture of deepest respect before a superior in the East. Persons of highest dignity sit thus when they do sit in the presence of kings. And, of course, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our king. The pulpit commentary says the same thing. The oriental custom, with his feet doubled under him and his head bent forward in this posture, meditated upon Jehovah's message and then poured out his thoughts. As it is expressly said, he sat before Jehovah. The place must have been the outer court of the tabernacle. Now in Psalm 63, 5 and other places, Psalm 4, 4, he sat on his bed. In Genesis, the 24th chapter, verse 63, Isaac did it in a natural setting. So if you want to do it on your bed, on your couch, in a natural setting, wherever you feel comfortable, sit in this position and with your hands spread out. This is the receiving mode. Just like at any time, if you're about to hug someone, you open, you spread out your hands and they come in and you give them a big hug. hug. It's a receiving mode. And as it says here in Psalm 119, 48, my hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments. He's receiving the gift of righteousness, the holy commandments, which I have loved and I will meditate on thy statutes. So we open up our hands in this receiving mode to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift of righteousness. So we sit with our legs crossed, our hands open to receive the blessings of Almighty God. Now that you're in that position, close your eyes, breathe in and breathe out. Relax your body. Breathe in and breathe out. Let everything go. Breathe in and breathe out. Now while you do that, concentrate on your frontal cortex, the mind's eye, your conscious mind. Concentrate on that certain spot. Breathing in and breathing out. Now I'm going to play the first commandment in God's law. As I play it, 
drank it in, absorbed the words, the holy words that came right out of God's own mouth. Drink in and absorb those words. Let them, be, let them be part of your inner being. And breathe in and breathe out. The Lord presents himself as Savior of Israel and of mankind. Breathe in and breathe out. Hosea, the 13th chapter, verse 4. God repeats this commandment and he says, There is no Savior besides me. This commandment is telling us that God is our Savior. Breathe in and breathe out. Acts 16, 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved. Breathe in. Breathe out, absorb those words, focus on your mind's eye. Let those words be part of your entire inner being. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved. Breathe in, breathe out. Both Testaments, the Lord presents himself as the Savior. The first commandment is saying that God is our Savior. Breathe in and breathe out. Isaiah says, For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. The first commandment, Almighty God presents himself as Savior. I am the Lord, besides me there is no Savior. We can only be saved through the Lord Jesus. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in the words of God, I am your Savior, God says. Breathe in and breathe out. Visualize Jesus, the only Savior of the world, lifting our lives out of sin. Breathe in and breathe out. Focus on your mind's eye. Let God's words be absorbed in your mind's eye, in every part of your being. Drink in these words. Ask the Lord Jesus to save you from this world, the devil, and sin. Breathe in and breathe out. Take all your burdens off your shoulders and give them to God. He is the Savior, and He is able to save us from our sins. The first commandment promises that He is our Savior. Breathe in and breathe out. Now concentrate on your heart where the Holy Spirit resides. Tap into that power of the Holy Spirit that is within you. 1 John 3.24 Hereby we know that he abide in us by the Spirit which he has given us. Breathe in and breathe out. Focus in on your heart. Focus in on the Holy Spirit of God. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Romans 5.5 5. Breathe in and breathe out. Concentrate on your heart. Visualize the Holy Spirit radiating within you. I will put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts. Jeremiah 31, 33. Breathe in, breathe out. Absorb the words of God. I will put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts. Breathe in and breathe out. Visualize the Spirit of God inside you vibrating stronger and stronger, absorbing the words of the first commandment in your heart. Breathe in and breathe out. Visualize the spirit growing stronger and stronger, filling your mind, your whole inner being. Become a shining, bright light. As Jesus said, we are the lights of the world. Breathe in and breathe out. The Holy Spirit of God is growing stronger and stronger within you. Breathe in and breathe out. This is your spiritual strength to help you to overcome and achieve perfection in the sight of Almighty God. Breathe in and breathe out. Now as you concentrate on the Spirit, breathing in and breathing out, 
Listen to the following affirmations and internalize them as you breathe. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. I am loved by God. Breathe in and breathe out. Absorb these words. Absorb these affirmations as you breathe in and out. God will never leave me or abandon me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God has a great plan for my life. I have been uniquely designed for a purpose. Breathe in and breathe out. God listens to me. I trust God. God wants abundance in my life, not lack. Breathe in and breathe out. God has the power to change my life. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the Holy Spirit radiating, getting stronger and stronger, vibrating in your whole inner being. Become that light that Jesus Christ says we are to become. This is developing the mind of Christ. Now, bring your focus back to your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. As you gently and in your own time begin to be aware of your position, of where you are seated, breathe in and breathe out and gently open your eyes and thank the Lord Jesus for him being our Savior.